In addition, we have to speed up investments all over Europe. And if I speak about investment, it's infrastructure, it is energy efficiency, and it is renewables. And this brings me to Repower EU. When we proposed Repower EU in March, keep in mind the situation was at such. There was a huge dependency of Russian gas. At that time, we anticipated that it would take several years to replace the Russian gas. Fact is, today, it took us eight months only to replace two-thirds. In other words, we have massively accelerated the diversification to other suppliers of gas from abroad. But this comes as a high, at a high price. So the actual solution to maintain our competitiveness is to invest into homegrown sources of energy, especially renewables, and that has to happen in all of Europe. However, only member states with sufficient fiscal space can undertake these critical investments. So this will inevitably unlevel the playing field of our single market. And therefore, we do not only need Repower EU now, so we have to accelerate it, but we have to boost it. We have to increase its firepower, and we will come with a proposal on that because it will give every member state the same opportunity to prepare for the future. This is not only about energy. This is about our global competitiveness, and it is about our sovereignty. Long live Europe. Many thanks.